Pennsylvania wants to get into the plastics business. To some extent, it already has. There's a state-of-the-art polyethylene plant being built in western Pennsylvania, a propylene production facility outside of Philly, and then there's Trinity Plastics in Lewistown, part of a larger plastics manufacturing corporation called the Interplast Group. Interplast first entered Pennsylvania about four or five years ago by acquiring Trinity Plastics. And we did so because it was a strategic location for us. Trinity has about 400 people. Uh, we hope to actually add to employment there. What makes plastic so fantastic for Pennsylvania's economy? It needs a raw material that our state has in abundance, natural gas. What Trinity does is they convert uh, plastic into a in-use product like a plastic bag, like a deli bag, a front-end bag, a t-shirt bag, uh, a trash can liner. Uh, and what we do is we bring resin in from our resin suppliers that goes into a silo here, which is then melted down in a conversion process to make a film. And that film is then put on a machine that actually forms and makes the particular product. I reprocess our Lawmakers who are members of the Pennsylvania House Manufacturing Caucus paid a recent visit to Trinity to hear their story. These facilities like this are kind of the heart and soul of Pennsylvania with the amount of jobs that are here. And I think they have several factories and, and they're really from the ground up. They, they extract natural gas, they, they turn it into a byproduct, they make plastic out of it. Um, the recycling program is huge. I was just highly impressed with how efficient the facility is, the amount of jobs and uh, the capital investments they make in, in our country and hopefully in our state are just staggering. Trinity Plastics traces its history back 100 years when it started as a paper bag manufacturer. Now its 400 employees produce more than 130 million pounds of plastic products each year. And even more impressive to lawmakers are these numbers, including its other two Pennsylvania facilities. The Interplast Group has a payroll of $16.7 million and pays more than $325,000 in property and franchise taxes. It is exactly the kind of job creator Pennsylvania lawmakers want to keep in and attract to our state. What was really eye-opening today is that Pennsylvania has, has all of these intangibles and it's just not pushing these companies, the intangibles aren't pushing these companies over the edge to actually pulling the trigger and making the investments in Pennsylvania so that, you know, with the natural gas industry per se, uh, we go from just having pipelines and, uh, and wellheads to having large, enormous manufacturing facilities to create products that people use on, an, on a daily basis uh, and provide great uh, family sustaining jobs and tax revenue so that our state can, can operate uh, at an easier burden than for the people who already live here. If you have a good workforce and you pay a good salary, obviously Pennsylvania could be a good spot, but a lot of it's going to depend on how the government responds in the future.